Welcome to the Kale Hauser Leadership Secrets Podcast. Today, let's talk about divine discontentment. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Kale Hauser Leadership Secrets Podcast. My name is Kale Hauser. I appreciate you joining me today. I am the co founder and CEO of Kale Hauser Leadership. We focus on small business leadership consulting and coaching in order to help you become a more confident leader so you can create amazing teams and a culture of people that actually want to help you grow and take your business to the next level. Uh, you can join us by uh, one, leaving a DM, liking this video or podcast, depending on what you are listening or watching it on. Uh, and two, you can absolutely send me an email anytime that you have a question or something that you need help with at kale at kalehauserleadership.com. I would love to hear from you. I will also, as a as another plug, is uh, make sure you subscribe to Kale Hauser Leadership on TikTok. I am posting a lot on there recently, uh, and hopefully it is uh, something that will be absolutely beneficial to you, especially if you are a new leader. If you've been thrust into a leadership position in any capacity and you feel unprepared, under um, underprepared, or under, God, what's the term that I'm looking for? But basically... Like you, you need help <laughs> that you're struggling. You don't know what you're doing. That is kind of the intent of my TikTok channel is to help those new leaders and and realizing that no one teaches us how to be a leader. Uh, it's usually a skill acquired through a lot of hard work, mistakes, and heartache. Uh, that eventually, if you're lucky, you your team stick around long enough that you actually become a good leader. And our our process here, or our goal here at Kalehauser Leadership, is to shortcut that whole process to where you are an amazing, confident comfortable, effective leader right out of the gates instead of taking years and, and lots of experiments and, and failed relationships along the way. So today, as part of that, it is important to recognize that some people have what is called divine discontentment. Now, this may be you. This may be uh, your spouse or your partner, your business partner. This may be people on your team that you kind of recognize they have this little bit of discontentment in, as part of their persona, as part of their attitude, and it's kind of what drives them. Now, I would strongly encourage you because it would be easy to misdiagnose this divine discontentment as fidgetiness, as a lack of satisfaction with you know wherever they're at at the moment, uh, maybe as complaining absolutely can be misdiagnosed as that. But I want to encourage you and remind you and help you understand uh, that divine discontentment is, is a need in the soul to continually move forward and progress, to continually strive to do better, be better, and make those around us better. That is what a divine discontented person does. They are always on the lookout. And in a sense, yes, they are never satisfied. In a sense, they are always on the lookout of what can I learn here? How can I make this process better? How can I improve this um, procedure or this project? How can I make me better? Whether my communication, uh, my body, my attitude, my mindset, all those things come from a divine discontentment. Now, I, this was first brought to my attention. It was kind of one of those aha moments from my mentor, Grant Cardone. And he talked about that. And he's like, yeah, I, you know, him, Grant Cardone speaking, you know, I've got divine discontentment. Lots of other people that we know and love had that, you know, Elon Musk, certainly he is driven to constantly push the boundaries and, and succeed and, and do things that other people are not doing and making these amazing new leaps and bounds in, in technology. Uh, and all the things, of course, that Elon is doing. But of course, you go back in history, you know, the Rockefellers, the Fords, all the people that we can think of that built these amazing things had this level of divine discontentment. They were never satisfied with where they were at in the form of they had achieved, right? They never sat back and going, you know what? I've done everything. There's nothing left to do in the world. There's nothing left to learn. There's no one else left to meet. And they just sit back and, you know, hit their retirement home or, or do their pina coladas on the beach and you never hear from them again. No, that was not the case with those people. And that is what happens a lot of times with people that are have this kind of level of, of varying degrees of this divine discontentment is it can make other people around them that do not have that, that other people that are just looking for that security, that are just looking for that um, kind of that arrival point of whatever that success looks like for them. You you can get a little, what's it like disgruntled? You can get a little jealous. You can get a little put off by those that are still continually 
uh, striving to to improve themselves. And this happens a lot just through childhood, right? You may be best friends with somebody in high school or grade school, and as you progress and your your paths and interests start to diverge a little bit, you may remain friends, but one goes off and you know maybe the traditional route gets a, a good job and and kind of you know plateaus out at that. They they make enough to support their family. They're starting a family. They can afford their house and maybe a new car every couple of years and a nice vacation. But then the other is like no. I'm trading all of that in order because I know I'm capable of so much more. I'm capable not only in the form of how much revenue and income I make, but how much I serve my community, how much I'm providing to the marketplace. And there can be this disconnect because it's seen as a, a lesser than and higher than type of dichotomy. And that is not the case. The only difference is one has settled, one has accepted that, hey, this is where I'm comfortable right here. I've got everything I need, I want for pretty much nothing, uh, and I'm comfortable, and I could live the rest of my life like this. But the other one goes, that's awesome, but I'm capable of over here. I may not need more money, I may not need a bigger house, but I am capable of doing the things that will provide that, should I choose. Do you understand the difference? And I want to ask, is that you? Do you, as the leader, have a level of divine discontentment inside of you? in the form of you want your people to be better because you recognize that they are capable of being better. Not only with your people that you lead, but with yourself. Do you go home from your work or your job and maybe it's been you know challenging and stressful? Do you just sit down in front of the TV or on YouTube and scroll, 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 scroll? Or do you continually strive to improve yourself? Do you continually strive to, you know maybe you are on YouTube, but you're learning something. You're not just kind of wasting time on there. You know, or you go home with your family and your kids and you're like, okay, now it's time to pour into my kids to help make them amazing young adults and foster this level, that same level of divine discontentment in them. And I really wanted to bring this to your attention because it was such an, an interesting mind shift for me as I realized, hmm, that is part of what makes me different than most people that I meet, and certainly different than a lot of my family and extended relatives, is that I am not content with a job. I, I walked away from a really good job that paid very, very well because I was discontent with where it was leading me, and it was basically leading me nowhere. Yeah, I was making good money. The job was relatively easy, like it wasn't super challenging. And it was relatively secure. I probably could have been worked there for the next, you know, however many years. But I walked away from that because that's not what I want. That's not what I know I'm capable of, just working for somebody else, showing up, hitting that time card, and getting a paycheck. I'm capable of serving people just like you. I'm capable of serving amazing corporations and young businesses and entrepreneurs that are trying to grow teams and are struggling with it. And that's what I want to do. I am discontent until I had done that. So if you have not heard about or if you have not gone yet to vipleadershipmastermind.com forward slash founder to sign up for our founding members list, uh, depending on when you're listening to this disclaimer there, it may already be closed by the time you see or, or listen to this podcast. But our VIP Leadership Mastermind is, is our entry level. It's meant to get you the tools, the tactical tools and resources you need if no one has ever taught you how to be a leader. No one has ever taught you that there are some things that you should do and some things you shouldn't do when you're leading people. There are ways to talk to people. There are ways to conduct interviews. There are ways to do your sales and marketing. All the types of things for young business owners and young entrepreneurs and young leaders. And not young in just the sense of age, but young in the sense of responsibility and, and role in that position. So make sure you hit that, vipleadershipmastermind.com forward slash founder. Join up for the founder's wait list if this is before January 3rd. If it is after that, uh, it will be access to the founding members um, program. It is pretty, I mean, smoke and deal as far as that is concerned for getting lifetime access for just a wicked low price, uh, no matter how much it goes up in the future, which it inevitably will, if that's the nature of things. Uh, I hope this is beneficial to you. If it is, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let your friends, family, um, wife, husband, kids know about it. I'd love to help them out as well as they 
uh, start out on their journey or if they're maybe struggling with something. As always, you can drop me a line, kale at kalehockeyleadership.com. I'd love to hear from you. Hope you're having a fantastic afternoon, no matter where you're at in the world. Bye.